hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family turn the notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up button because it really does help me out today i wanted to talk about today i wanted to today i wanted to talk about depersonalization and devialization these are two different dissociative disorders that often co-occur i've been diagnosed with these since 2018 so that's six years. <laughs> Today I'm gonna try to explain depersonalization and derealization from my experience. Now, triggers. What triggers me into a a dissociative episode. Well, a lot of the time it actually stems from my PTSD. My PTSD caused me to dissociate in these different ways. For example, objects change in shape. That's a big one for me. Not feeling real. The big one for me is not feeling real. I'm diagnosed with depersonalization and derealization two dissociative disorders. They co-occur so they're often labelled together so which is where you get the DPDR. It also feels a lot like you're in a dream. There are some times where I can't tell if it's a dream or if it's real. So that's fun. I should probably take a, get a journal and write down my dreams. That would probably help me out a bit. Here are ways you can help someone experiencing depersonalization. Number one, read up on the condition. Educate yourself. Education is key. Number two, validate their experience. Number three, offer to go to therapy sessions with them. Four, understand it might be hard for them to reach out for help. Depersonalization and derealization are pretty serious mental health conditions. They can interfere with daily life because you don't know what's real, you can't tell if it's a dream. It likely puts you in dangerous situations. If you dissociate and you're crossing a road, if you're like me, you freeze. I remember once when I lived in Wembley, I was crossing a road and I froze because my DPDR got triggered and a security guard literally picked me up and carried me off and then sat with me for about 20 minutes while I came round. So, it can put you in pretty dangerous situations, which aren't fun. So yeah, living with these disorders is not easy and I don't want to make it out to seem easy because there is no magic cure. Sometimes talking therapy helps, sometimes medication helps. For me, medication does help quite a lot. I have a paradox. Yeah. I hope this video taught you something. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.